I've learned many things from him, George Soros, but perhaps the most significant is that it's not whether you're right or wrong that's important, but how much money you make when you're right and how much you lose when you're wrong. My philosophy, is that to be the best investor you can be, you have to possess an insatiable desire to learn and an unshakable belief in your own capabilities. The stock market is filled with individuals who know the price of everything but the value of nothing. I believe the best way to manage risk is to be bullish when you have a compelling risk slash reward and bearish when you don't. The key to money management. It's making a lot of money when you're right and minimizing it when you're wrong. There are times to make money. There are times not to lose money. And if you don't know the difference, you're going to get killed. I've thought a lot of things when I'm managing money with great, great conviction, and a lot of times I'm wrong. And when you're betting the ranch and the circumstances change, you have to change, and that's how I've always managed money. I never try to make money in the stock market. I buy on the assumption that they could close the market the next day and not reopen it for five years. I don't think it's a good idea to apply conventional wisdom to the markets. Conventional wisdom in the financial markets exists to be tested and found lacking. Once you make a lot of money, it's incredibly enjoyable to give it away. It's a way to satisfy the soul. I like putting all my eggs in one basket and then watching the basket very carefully. Soros is the best loss taker I've ever seen. He doesn't care whether he wins or loses on a trade. If a trade doesn't work, he's confident enough about his ability to win on other trades. There are a lot of shoes on the shelf, where only the ones that fit. If you're extremely confident, taking a loss doesn't bother you. Bitcoin is like anything else, it's worth what people are willing to pay for it. The way to build superior long-term returns is through preservation of capital and home runs. When you have tremendous conviction on a trade, you have to go for the jugular. It takes courage to be a pig. I don't really like hedging. To me, if something needs to be hedged, you shouldn't have a position in it. If you diversify, you're saying, I don't know what I'm doing. I believe that good investors are successful not because of their IQ, but because they have an investing discipline. But what is more disciplined than a machine? A well-researched machine can make many average investors redundant, leaving behind only the really good human investors with exceptional intuition and skill. I've always loved to play games, and face it, investing is one big game. You need to be decisive, open-minded, flexible and competitive. I'm only rich because I know when I'm wrong. Earnings don't move the overall market, it's the Federal Reserve Board. Focus on the central banks, and focus on the movement of liquidity. Most people in the market are looking for earnings and conventional measures. It's liquidity that moves markets. Every serious deflation I've looked at is preceded by an asset bubble, and then it bursts. Everyone sort of lives with their rulers in the past and doesn't look at coming changes. You can be far more aggressive when you're making good profits. If you're early on in your career and they give you a choice between a great mentor or higher pay, take the mentor every time. It's not even close. And don't even think about leaving that mentor until your learning curve peaks. The few times that Soros has ever criticized me was when I was really right on a market, and didn't maximize the opportunity. There's just nothing to me so invaluable in my business, but in many businesses, as great mentors. If you're running a business for the long term, the last thing you should be doing is borrowing money to buy back stock. Good debt growth is when you borrow money, and it goes into the real economy. You do capital spending. You build businesses. Carried interest. 
You're making money on somebody else's capital. It's not on your own. If that's not income, I don't know what is.